Hello everyone, welcome to the course tutorial of software engineering on the topic of decision table and I am your course instructor Madhu Gautam, assistant professor Kite Group of Institutions. So in this lecture we will see about the decision table. Decision table is a brief visual representation for specifying which action to perform depending upon the given condition. The information is represented in decision table which can also be represented in the form of decision trees and in the programming language it is represented using if then else or the switch case statements. Decision table specify which variable to be tested, what action to be taken and the order of different uh, actions. A decision table is a table of row and columns which is separated into four quadrants and the four quadrants are the condition stub, the rule stub, the action stub and the entry stub. So this is the general format of the decision table. It generally contains the column which call the rules and what is rule? Rule are the certain condition which when satisfy a certain action is performed. So this is an example of the payroll system, a decision table of a payroll system. This is the condition stub, this is the action stub and these are the certain rules which when satisfy a action is performed which is specified by this cross symbol. So if a employee worked uh, less than 40 hours then pay base salary then this action will be performed. So the, this is an example of the decision table of the payroll system. So consider an example. Let us take an example that a bookstore get a trade discount of 25% for order more than 6 books for order more than uh, for, from library and individuals 5% allowed on order of 6 to 19 copies per book title 10% on order for 20 to 49 copies per book title and 15% on order for 50 copies or more per book title. So we have different set of discounts available for different conditions. So we need to build a decision table for that particular problem. So let us understand how we can do that. So this is a decision table. All the conditions are specified in this particular uh, column that is if column and the action is specified in this particular column that is called action, right? So this is specified by if and this is specified by then. So when a certain particular condition is met, we specify it by using this Y sign that uh, which specify that this particular condition is being satisfied. And if this condition is satisfied, what action need to be taken? With that particular action is specified by this particular cross sign. So if the customer is bookstore and if the order size is six copies or more, then what action need to be taken? The discount of 25% will be given for that order. So these are certain rules and on the basis of the uh, uh, these rules or these are the certain actions which need to be taken. So developing decision table process requires the determination of the number of conditions that affect the decisions. The set of attribute actions must likewise be determined. The number of rules need to be computed and each rule must specify one or more actions. So each condition generally has two possible alternatives whether it is met or not. So it can be specified by using yes or no. The total number of rule is equal to the number of conditions into number of condition values. If the number of values for each condition is true or false then 2 raised to the power number of conditions that is 2 to the power 2 that is 4 are the total number of rules. Thus if there are 4 conditions there will be 16 possible rule likewise. So how we can build the decision table? For each rule, we need to select the appropriate action and indicate with this particular cross sign. So there are certain conditions which can be specified by using Y and N. Y means that particular condition is satisfied and N specify that this particular condition is not satisfied. And on the basis of this Y and N, certain action is performed which is represented by this cross sign. So Cleaning up the things, check the table for any impossible situations, contradictions and redundancies and eliminate such rules. Rewrite the decision table with the most reduced set of rules. Rearranging the rule order is permissible if improve the user understanding. So merely building the decision table is not always uh, necessary or sufficient. We need to refine our decision table. We need to remove all the redundancies, contradictions and impossible values from the decision table and make it as simple and 
as possible right so this is the example uh, how we can reduce or how we can improve our decision table so this is the condition and the action uh, column and uh, all the condition whether they are satisfied or not are specified by using y and n and the action corresponding to them are specified by this cross sign so the four gray column can be combined into the single rule note that for each there was no order place from the special catalog in addition rule 1 and 5 and rule 3 and 7 can be combined each pair product the same produce the same action and each pair shares two common condition so if ha we have some pairs if we have some pairs which performs or which uh, produce the same set of action then we can combine them and reduce them into a one particular column so like this in this figure this is y and this is our column 1 and this is our column 5 so we can combine 1 and 5 this is our column 2 and 4 we can combine these two and make it one column so if we have certain set of uh, columns which produce the same action then we can combine them and reduce that column from 2 to 1 this is what is happening in this particular slide so we are combining column number 1 and column number 5 we are combining 2 and 4 because they are yielding the same result column number 3 and 7 and likewise we combine the column number 6 and 8 so this is the resultant table after combining these columns or uh, reducing these columns into one so this is our reduced decision table the column 2 and 4 is reduced like this why uh, this particular condition is always satisfied there is a contradiction in this particular case so we left it blank and uh, this particular condition is always not satisfied and the corresponding action is taken so likewise we combine all the rules like this so this is the reduced table the column 1 and 5 are reduced into a single row column 3 and 5 is reduced into the single column column 2 and 4 and column 6 and 8 likewise we can reduce the decision table and thereby we can reduce the complexity of our decision table so this is a final decision table after reducing all the columns right so initially we have uh seven to eight different columns but depending upon the different conditions depending upon the action taken we have reduced our decision table into three columns that is 1 2 and 3 and all the uh action and the decision which is being depicted in this decision table is equivalent to what is depicted in the uh initial decision table right so these uh, two decision table are similar at that particular time so it will eliminate the all unnecessary columns and unnecessary complexity in the decision table so what is the importance of decision table decision table are very much helpful in test design technique it help testers to search the effect of combination of different input and other software states that must correctly implement business rule it provide a regular way of stating complex business rule that is helpful for developer as well as for the tester it assist in development process with developer to do a better job testing with all combinations might be impractical in uh, impractical a decision table is basically an outstanding technique used in both testing and requirement manager uh, management it is a structured exercise to prepare requirement when dealing with the complex business rule and it is also used in model complicated logic so decision table help us in many different ways in the software engineering and we should reduce the complexity uh, complexity of decision table as much as uh, we can do right so this is all about the decision table thank you